every day we are spending in the water with this condition is a uh, is gold for us. Yeah, we're, we're struggling a little bit with the wind today, but nevertheless, it was a very good, uh, very good day. We're here with Max Sirena, team principal, Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli. Max, looked like another productive sailing session, approximately four hours. Can you break it down for us? Well, it was a good day, obviously. I mean, we are still in summertime here in Cagliari, a good sea breeze, and uh, so which is give us uh, a lot of opportunity to uh, keep going with our development and testing process. We, I guess most of the team, they are in the final uh, uh, decision regarding the new boat and uh, so every day we are spending in the water with this condition is a uh, is gold for us. You guys are conducting basically campaign AC40 in Barcelona and now parallelly the LQ12 in Cagliari. Yeah we're gonna start the session uh, in preparation of the JED event. Uh, uh, some of the team members are already in Barcelona from last night uh, and uh, so yeah we try to to, to maximize as much as possible the time here in Cagliari and in Barcelona. Obviously, our main focus is still uh, the boat here in Cagliari, but at the same time, we need to try to, to, to train as much as possible with the, with the amount of time we have had uh, for the jet event. So it's work in progress, it's part of the game, and uh, we have to do it. What would you say is the biggest learning? You've, of course, you're not carrying a lot of the AC40 and so, but what would you say is the biggest uh, learning which you took from Milanova and so on? Well, it was a tough, uh, tough event, pretty light condition. Obviously, you can tell uh, uh, the difference between teams in terms of hour in the water and um, the two teams, they, they actually win uh, the event or finish on the top of the event. They, they are the team, they spend most of the time with the AC40. And we knew that from day one. And, uh, but again, I think we need to make sure we don't get too distracted by, by the result of uh, Villanova and eventually by the result in Jeddah. Our main focus is the cup next year and we want to make sure we put all the bullet uh, in the preparation for that, uh, for that goal. Obviously, as a sailor, as a, a competitor, we, once we start the cutting line, we want to do a, 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 as much better as possible. But, uh, but it's sport, uh, and, and you know the result in sport, they are coming with our on the, on the water in our case. Max, on, on, out of all teams, which AC75 uh, would you like to see first in the water? Well, uh, I don't know, to be honest. I, I don't really care. I'm looking. I'm pretty busy to, to look at our planning and our schedule. Uh, I, there is a there is a good chance uh, we're going to see a quite different strategy between teams, but uh, but sooner or later, uh, I mean, everyone will get in the water, and uh, and at the end, the final result will tell uh, who did the, the right choice and the right decision uh, in place. But but again, it's a tough game because uh, with only one boat, uh, it's pretty tricky, and uh, and with such a short amount of component and wing, you can build. It's pretty, it's pretty tricky to, to make the best decision uh, or the best strategy, but, uh, but at the end, I mean, you have to make some decision and you have to live with that. from the power group on board Alinghi Red Bull Racing. You have been able to sail for, sail for 28 minutes out of four hours on the water with a very light breeze, making you struggle at some points. You waited for a long time for better wind conditions. Were you expecting a different forecast? 
Yeah, it's true. We were today we were a little bit chasing the wind. Uh, the, there was a station reading a little bit of wind uh, further up north. Uh, we went there, there was no wind, unfortunately, so we went to um, close to Castle de Fels. Uh, there was a little bit more wind, we were able to do some sailing there, and uh, yeah, we're, we're struggling a little bit with the wind today, but nevertheless, it was a very good, uh, very good day. And what were the objectives for today's session in such a light breeze? Uh, for sure, we expect a little bit more breeze. Uh, in the forecast, it was up to 10 knots. So it looked like a very good sailing day. Uh, but as well, we have seen in Villanova that uh, we have to be able to race in uh, very light breeze as well. So it was a very, very interesting day today. How many people from the power group doesn't have a sailing background? Uh, four of them, okay. yeah. And how important do you think having that sailing background is? Uh, so the guys, uh, they have been with the team for more than a year now and uh, they learn every day what, what it is to be a, to be a professional sailor. Sure, uh, at the beginning they haven't had uh, loads of experience, but by now, uh, yeah, after, after more than one year, they, they're, they're getting there. What is more interesting for the team? An athlete who can reach a high peak of bats or an athlete that can maintain less bats but for longer? Oh, I have no clue, I don't know. Uh, We've been, we've been trying so many different things and uh, I think if you can maintain a high peak power and high average watt, even better. What has been your maximum power peak on board the 75? I don't know, I don't even know. Okay. And talking, talking in terms of ergonomy, how difficult is for you to simulate when you are training on your bike the same position as you have on board? Um, it's, it's pretty similar to be honest, so we try for sure to have a, have a um, similar position on board that is comfortable uh, when we're out sailing like today, four hours on the water, if you're not comfortable, you don't, you don't, uh, yeah, you, you, you don't uh, do the, the full four hours, so uh, yeah, you have to be comfortable as well. Nice, thanks for your time. Perfect, thank you.